guys and gals, Buffalo here. I'm going to do things a little bit different today. We're going to start out with some close-ups, talk about this gun a little bit, then we'll head down to the range. Now you've already read the title. You know we're taking a look at the Ruger SP-101, the working man snubby, as I like to call it. Now this one is chambered in 38 Special, and it has the two and a quarter inch barrel. Of course, it's available with a three inch barrel or a four and a fifth inch barrel. They're also available in 357 Magnum, nine millimeter, 327 Federal Magnum, and 22 LR. The 357, 38, and nine millimeter models have a five shot cylinder, while the 327 has a six shot cylinder and the 22 holds eight. These are double action, single action revolvers. They also offer a double action only model with the spurless hammer. This is an old school, all steel type of revolver. The all steel construction does give it a little weight. It comes in at 26 ounces. But as you'll see when we get to the range, that weight makes it really comfortable to shoot, really easy to shoot well especially with standard pressure 38 loads. Even with the 38 plus P's, it's not that bad, but we'll be shooting standard pressure loads today, and hopefully you'll be able to tell with the range footage just how easy this gun is to shoot, particularly for a snubby. Of course, Ruger revolvers are known for their toughness and durability. Bill Ruger came up with the one-piece frame design to take advantage of his investment casting process. The design also allows easy disassembly as the gun breaks down into sub-assemblies, which just makes it really easy for the guy at home to perform maintenance or swap out parts or just, uh, just clean his gun. It's really simple to take one of these apart, especially when compared to some of the other revolvers out there. It has a ramped front sight that is pinned to the barrel. The rear sight is an integral sight. It doesn't look like much, but it works pretty well and seems to be calibrated perfectly for the 158 grain ammo that I've been shooting. It comes with cushioned rubber grips that wrap all the way around the grip frame so there's no steel exposed to sting your hands. It also has plastic panels or hardwood panels depending on the model you choose on the side of the grips to help clothing slide off so it doesn't grab your clothing like an all rubber grip would. And of course, it features Ruger's transfer bar system and frame-mounted firing pin, making the gun very safe to carry. But enough here. Let's pack up, head down to the range, and do some shooting. All right, so here we are at the range. Just want to start out here by saying that LAX Ammunition sent me over a couple hundred rounds of their ammo just to try out uh, under no obligation and for no reason other than just because I do what I do. So I appreciate that. Honestly, I had never heard of LAX Ammunition until they contacted me about sending me this. So they've obviously earned a customer in me. I'll be ordering from them in the future. I checked out their website. The prices are very, very good, very competitive. And they also gave me a code, Buffalo, 7, uh, Buffalo LAX 17. I'll link that down in the description that if any of you guys want to order some ammo from them, until the end of this month, March of 2018, you can get 5% off and free shipping. And as you know, free shipping is a pretty big deal when you're ordering bulk ammunition. Just wanted to throw that in there. This is the ammo we'll be shooting today. This is their 38 Special remanufactured 158 grain total copper plated bullets. We'll shoot this box up down here today, 50 rounds. Good looking ammo for reloads. Just really nice looking stuff. I've shot, uh, I already shot one box of it through this little gun and it, it tends to like it pretty well. So won't have any excuses for missing. Back to the Ruger SP-101 here. One of the things I like about the Rugers is that press in cylinder release. That's the most natural way in my opinion to release that cylinder. You don't have to push, you don't have to pull. You just naturally press that button. So, float us up five shots. Of course, if you were gonna be carrying this gun, you'd definitely pick you up some speed loaders. 
and that's another great thing about it being a Ruger and it's been around since 1989 this particular model so there's plenty of aftermarket following there's a uh, you know tons of holsters depending on how and where you want to carry this gun there's a uh, grips speed loaders you know you name it there's a really good aftermarket following so first shots of the day haven't done any shooting before the video let's see if I can hit anything oh yeah now granted we are only at 10 yards but most people actually get frustrated with me when I do a video and I'm shooting at 40 or 50 yards with a snub nose they kind of give me a hard time in the comments saying that's not what that gun was meant for but you know what we're going to do it some today anyway but we're going to start out here at 10 put five more on there we'll go the other way got a miss right there already didn't take long all right tell you what let's back the table here up to 20 yards we'll take another crack at it okay so here we are at 20 yards i've moved the table back We've got 40 rounds of ammo left now this little ruger does have a fully shrouded ejector rod kind of kind of a bull barrel look like all the rugers tend to have all the double action rugers anyway so let's load five more rounds up Now, you can shoot, the, my shooting today will be primarily double action. You can shoot this gun in single action. I'll pop one off in single action for you. But I, I prefer to shoot, this is a, a defensive revolver, and I, I prefer to shoot in double action. So, got four more rounds. Just like that. Let's load up five more here at 20. Now 20 yards is probably the maximum that most people would consider this as a defensive handgun. And, you know, the sights, I'm not having to hold, you know, I'm not holding low or high or left or right. I'm just, I'm holding right on. So, not bad for a snubby, but since I am hitting so easy at 20, let's back up to 30. Let's put a little pressure on me. All right, so here we are at 30 yards. I've got 30 rounds of that ammo left. Now, at this range, they do offer SP-101 models with adjustable sights. Uh, I know they make like a match champion edition has has hardwood grips and adjustable sights uh, four and a fifth inch barrel That would certainly be better for shooting at this kind of range, but we're just out here having a little fun guys And besides I've heard complaints from some of you guys that I don't show enough misses in my videos. So this will certainly certainly give you a look at some misses because I'm gonna have a little trouble with this Let's see here We'll start from left to right again. <laughs> or maybe not. Five for five. We'll have to try five more from, from this range. Maybe we'll end up moving back again. These little guns are incredibly accurate. And even with that... Just that notch rear sight. As you can see, it's easy to shoot. The weight, hopefully you guys have noticed. The 26 ounce weight of this little revolver, it keeps it from jumping out of my hands with these standard pressure 38 loads. I have shot some plus P's through it. I don't have any with me today. I just brought this one box down for this video. But um, you know, even the plus P's aren't that harsh. So let's, let's try five more. We'll go from the other direction this time.
All right, I had one miss there, that third one, middle target. All right, so heck, I had one miss at 10 yards too, so that's not that big of a deal. I'll tell you what, just for giggles, let's back up to 40 yards. All right, 40 yards, guys. Now, that's a little outside the realm of what most people would consider a little snub nose double action revolver for, unless you're Jerry Mitchellick or somebody like that. But uh, we're going to try it today anyway, just because I feel like it. And besides, I figure if I can make a hit at 40, then seven yards shouldn't be an issue. Get five loaded up here. I've had 20 rounds left. So after this five, it'll take me down to 15. Get these organized. There we go. All right. Targets are looking awfully small from here. Let's see what I can do. Got him. Miss. Got him. Got him. And a miss. Two misses. I think I can do better than that. Put five more in here. It's funny. One of my misses was the bigger target there. <laughs> this little revolver is obviously very accurate. It's much more accurate than I'm able to hold it. I want to make that clear. You know, just because I'm missing at this range, you put this gun in the right hands and, and people build, somebody build to pop all them targets. Try one more time. All right, just had one miss that time, not too bad. Not too bad for 40 yards. That is uh, actually pretty challenging. It's pretty fun. I'm going to try it again. Put five more in. Hope I'm not boring you guys too badly here. You know, a lot of people, when I do a gun review or, or feature a gun on my channel, they'll leave comments, blah, 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 shooting starts at at five minutes or whatever. It's like they don't want to hear the talking part anyway, so maybe you guys are enjoying this shooting part. Try to go the other way. <laughs> Missed two that time. Dang it. All right, so I've got five more rounds left out of this box of ammo. Now this ammo, as you can see, it's performing pretty well. Not having any problems with it whatsoever. So let's back up here. There's my, those trees are right at my 40 yard line. Let's back up here just, just for the Heck of it, at 50 yards. Got five rounds left out of that box. Hit. Hit. Miss. <laughs> three for five at 50 yards guys that's not bad not bad for me you know when i when i say that i'm talking about myself here we're all on different skill levels you know try to keep that in mind don't ever forget that some of you guys you know your 50 yard groups may be as good as my 10 yard groups and, and the other way around you know we all come from from different backgrounds got into shooting at different times and shoot better with with different style of guns and all that stuff so just kind of keep that in mind and uh, of course, anytime you get a chance to help a new shooter out, be sure and do that. That's, that's the whole point of my channel. So uh, just, just kind of keep that in mind. All right, guys, so that brings us to the end of today's 
Ruger SP101 video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It really does help. Now, before I go today, I've got a couple of channel shout outs I'd like to do. Just try to help some other people out. Um, Greg over at Lion Quest Fitness. I can't hardly shoot a defensive revolver without thinking about Greg. He's got some great revolver videos over there. Uh, of course, fitness is in his title. He does some fitness videos too, but I'll just be honest, I'm subbed for the gun stuff. He does a good job on those videos. Um, closing in on 2,000 subscribers, I believe. I think that enough of you, if you'll go check his channel out, I think enough of you will like what you see that we can definitely put him over the 2,000 sub mark. The other channel is uh, Shooting with Uncle Dan. Those boys are down in Texas just having a good time. Brand new channel to YouTube. In fact, he told me that maybe he picked the wrong time to start a YouTube gun channel with everything that's going on out there. But, you know, I encourage anybody to start a gun channel right now. Couldn't be a better time in my opinion. So, want to give those Texas boys a big old Kentucky welcome. Uh, I think enough of you guys will, will like what you see over there that you'll probably subscribe. I'll link both those channels in the description below, along with the links to my other social media accounts. As always, I'll talk to you guys again soon. Thank you.